Hello everyone. Well, I wanted to share with you probably the coolest thing that I've ever found at my local thrift store. There were four items that were in this plastic bag and look at the price. I know everything's backwards, but it's $1. Now, years ago, I used to go to auctions, live auctions, every week. Um, that's when I was a full-time antique dealer, about 27, 28 years ago. And there were lots of live auctions, and um, then there were really cool things. But for as far as like your local church thrift store goes, I was really shocked that these showed up, and um, to me, they're they're not the most um, profitable items that I've ever found at the thrift store, but they're absolutely the coolest things that I've ever found. So this first thing that was in the bag, there were four things, is called a standard it's embossed standard diary, and this is a um, I don't know if it's hemp. It might be hemp. It's a very sturdy material and it was able to be embossed. And this is real leather around it. And it's really not a diary. It's a daily planner. 1911. And another time we'll go through things better because there's really awesome things here. Um, like the postage rates, for instance, the first class letter was huh, two cents. Hmm. Second class newspaper, a cent. That's amazing. Um, it goes through your legal holidays in every state. It goes through, oh, so many cool things. The population. Of the United States by town, um, town by um, state. So the population of every state in 1911. How, I mean, when I was looking at this, I was amazed. No wonder why doctors were able to make house calls. Some of these states had populations that, you know, cities have now. Entire, entire states had the population of a big city or even a medium-sized city. So it's just so cool. Well, I'm going to go through this another time so that it's really fun. Presidents of the United States. Let's see, we leave off the last president here, Howard Taft. <laughs> Howard Taft, yeah. Howard Taft, yeah. The last president, 1909. That was the last president in 1911. Um, times, there's so many cool things in here. And then, Somebody must have written, up until January 19th, they must have written things in this planner. It's really a daily planner, and they ripped it out. It must have been very juicy for them to have to rip it out. And the rest of it is blank. I wish that they left it in. I would have loved to have read what they wrote in 1911. Just imagine all that happened they were somebody was holding this in their hand writing and there would be the first world's war they had no idea there would be the spanish flu epidemic there would be the second world's war everything that happened they had no clue no clue in 1911 what what was coming upon them I don't know. 
when I hold something like this in my hand and I know it belonged to someone and it doesn't look that old, it just, I wonder who owned this and what their life was like and where they lived and, ah, oh, it's just, well, obviously they live somewhere, I'm in New Jersey, most likely somewhere in New Jersey. Truly was the garden state back then. Um, so this all obviously came from the same estate. Then we have, this is leather. It's really, it's buttery soft from all the years. And it doesn't have much damage. This is just, you know, just bent over a little bit. And this is embossed. It says, um, all leather, strongly stitched. And it's a file folder. It's all leather. I wrote in here. I put notes in everything that I do. Um, it was made between 1910 and 1920. And that I, that I um, did my research. This is all leather, really soft leather. So, um, nothing in it, too bad. But this was somebody's file folder. It could have been from the same time, since it's the same estate, 1911, probably from about the same time. 1911, 1915 maybe. So these two items, and then this is all leather, and it says clippings. So, I'm assuming it's for maybe newspaper clippings that people like to clip out in the newspaper. And there's a, a picture here. And these cars look like they're very, very early, maybe from the teens. So I'm assuming it's from about the same era, 1915 maybe. And it's leather. And inside, it's very heavy. Envelopes that are all, all eh, ah, are all attached. I'm not talking so great tonight. Yeah, they're all attached inside of this. So, I'm assuming that what what they did is, you know, read the newspaper and then the clippings that they liked from the newspaper, maybe there were um, recipes, pictures, articles, and um, they would put it in the envelopes and maybe even label the envelopes, like recipes, pictures, whatever. And I wish that you could feel how incredibly heavy this paper is, and how buttery soft this leather is. So this was the third thing. And then the most amazing thing that I found is actually pre-Civil War. This is a I did some research and there was another one just like it. And um, on the inside, this one doesn't have it, but on the inside of one just like it, made in the same place because there's an embossment on the inside. It had a man's name and the year 1851. So this is a, man, a man's wallet and it's just amazing that this delicate piece of leather was never ripped off from 1850s. It just, I don't know, blows my mind when I find things like this. All right, so we have to take, look, 
it's really like you have to be very careful. This, you know, a man carried this around. And imagine how careful people were with their things. You know, it just wasn't, you know, pull it out and, oh, well, I can get another one. No. People had to take good care of things back then. And yeah, it's really worn on the outside, but look at when you open it up. You could see the original color. It's a lovely brown color, soft, shiny. So that's what it would have looked like. And then it's made by C.A. Cobb in Lancaster, Massachusetts, which is um, stamped in, looks like almost gold stamping. And there's a pouch there and another little pouch. I don't want to really force this because it's very delicate. And then you open it up. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. And then there's another spot where whatever. And this must be for the bills. You put your bills in here. Oh. And look at, look at. Do you see this? Somebody had a coin there and it marked when it was folded. There's a coin mark. Wow. So that had to be all folded up every time he went in and out of his wallet and then very gently put that through and put that through. And I'm assuming it didn't go in their back pocket like men do today or else it would have been really messed up. Maybe they put it in their front coat pocket. I don't know. But I don't think it would have been in this good of condition if, if a man put it in their back pocket. I know my dad used to keep a wallet for like maybe 10 years and it was it looked like this after 10 years from his back pocket. So um, I don't know where they, maybe they put it, they always wore a jacket probably in, in maybe in the inside of their um, overcoat or jacket. So those are the four things that I picked up at my local thrift store as soon as it came out. I mean, the, the head volunteer was walking with it, and I said, oh, what is that? And she goes, oh, look. And I said, oh, I'll take it. So um, no one got a chance to look at it yet, or else it would have been snatched up. So these are the four things that I picked up for a dollar. And um, I will sell them. They're very cool, but I, I don't collect any of this stuff, and I don't have the room. And I think if maybe if I was younger, I would have kept it, or if my kids had any interest in it, I would keep it. But they don't. I have so much stuff that I need to sell. Um, so yeah, this is this is my best find. Believe it, you know, you're not going to believe this, guys, but I did look, I did look on eBay, and there were a lot of these wallets. You know, every time I think, oh, you know, I'm never going to find this. It's you know, one in a million. Who, who's going to have this? I'll find, like, ten of them. I found, well, I actually found one that's stamped from, the, from Massachusetts, just like this. But it was written on the inside, man's name, with 1851. So I, I know this is pre-Civil uh, pre War era. It's just um, amazing what people will keep, you know, in a chest or up in their attic. It could have been kept up in an attic. I don't know. I mean, I could speculate. 
don't speculate on it, but I'll never know. I don't know who do donated it. I wish I did. I would have asked them. I would love to know the provenance on this. Oh, man, would I love to know. <sighs> but... So anyway, this is probably the coolest find that I've ever encountered at a local thrift store for a buck. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.